are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Looking beautiful as always. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so um, we have we have Nick on and we have Mike on. And Gia, I know you haven't been watching every episode, but you can give your insight onto what you've been through because honestly, you were on you were on the Bachelor, you were on Bachelor Pad One and Bachelor Pad Two. Like you've been you've been through this franchise a bit. You can give <laughs> your your point of view. And so right now, um, as Sean sees me, just to loop you in, what's going on? Basically, there's you know a villain, Tierra. I'm not sure if you've heard of her. And yeah. right now we. I don't really know who the front runner is, but what's your take on, like, from your point of view, how do you make it far? What What's the tactic? Do you be aggressive? Do you stay, you know, kind of behind, like, low-key? What's, what's, like, the secret? Um, well, in terms of The Bachelor, I think it's, it's just like being yourself. Like, you don't want to get into the drama, because, like, you get too involved with the girls and the drama. You're going to make yourself look crazy on TV, which is never fun. And your purpose there is not going to be met, you know. So staying out of that and just keeping to yourself, making friends, but being alone. Kind of like Nick, like what he did on The Bachelor Pad was like genius. You know, that's the way to go through any type of reality show, I think. And you wouldn't think that. you, you got to find the happy balance. You would, you would <laughs> yeah. think that, like, you need to be aggressive and go after it. And I think that's what... Tierra is thinking, like, I'm not going to get my chance. Like, she's just all over the place. And, like, sometimes, you know, the person that is just, like, more, like, mellow and low-key is the one that kind of lasts. But then again, yeah. my season, my season, Courtney, she wasn't so mellow. You're right. And Vienna, she was definitely not mellow. So, I mean, exactly. I guess the aggressive ones win, but they look crazy in the end. And they both but, end up losing anyways because they break up. So, you still lose. <laughs> But then again, I think it really, the, the person that transformed the whole show is who the Bachelor and the Bachelorette is. That too mm -hmm. makes the show, and that too is like, that is what creates the characters. Like if the person yeah. likes a little bit of aggressiveness, if someone likes someone low-key, I think Sean wants someone more laid back, and like, so we're going to find some more laid back. Yeah, but Sean kind of reminds me a lot of Jake in a lot of ways. So, can you hear me? Also, Gia, I, I, I got a quick question for you too. This this summer we were like hanging out. You were talking about that you haven't like hadn't watched a lot of The Bachelor. So when you went on, you were kind of just like doing your thing and being yourself, which is awesome. But a lot of the girls go on with like a strategy because it's almost like a Lord of the Flies kind of game at this point. Um, what do you think is the best strategy? Do you think that you should go in without knowing a lot and just being yourself, or do you think you should go in there with like a game plan of like you know, I'm going to be Tierra and kill people. <laughs> Mike, you do realize you're talking to someone that lost three times in a row. <laughs> Me oh, and yeah, winning, I, I, just, I just don't know how to win. And <laughs> losing. I lose the guy, I lose the money. <laughs> oh. oh, you look really pretty, <laughs> so you're winning. Gia, I have to ask you, because good. your your season was so controversial, like I think that a lot of people want to know if you are friends with Vienna. Um, we weren't friends for a while, but um, we made up. She moved to Orlando. I was living in Orlando last year, so we talk here and there. Yeah, I mean, okay. we're not like BFF, but we talk. Yeah, we went through a lot together, and I really did like her a lot at one point, so. That's good. That's As long as you yeah. guys are just, you know, on yeah. good terms. Yeah, she's definitely the Tierra. Vienna, <laughs> Tierra. Kind of sounds alike, too. <laughs> I, oh, that's weird. Vienna, Tierra. Vienna, Tierra. Vienna, Tierra. <laughs> yeah. So, mm. I, know you, I know you haven't watched much of the season, but I know you've seen the, like, photos, and you've probably seen maybe, like, one or you saw the first two episodes. Just from first yeah. impression, can we just bang off that? Like, who do you think would be a good match for Sean, just on first impression? Um, for some reason, I really like Ashley and Sarah for him. I feel like Ashley's very put together, and he seems very put together, and his family seems very put together. So a girl that is organized and just well put, like, and classy, I think that would be good for him. But I also like how he is with Sarah, like, and I feel like she needs a good guy like that. Like, and Sean is a great guy, and I feel 
that they complement each other. And he really, he's not afraid to touch her. Like, in that episode when they were on the date, like, he did, wasn't scared to hold her. And I'm sure, like, a lot of guys may be hesitant to do that to her. But he had his hand on her shoulder, on her waist, and I like that. Yeah, and something about, like, Sean, I feel like Sean doesn't deal well with super shy girls and then super mm -hmm. overbearing girls. I think, like, not saying that Leslie Murphy, who's the one that is just, like, she'll put his arms around him, like, she's aggressive. Like, I don't think he knows how to react to that and he doesn't feel comfortable with that. But he doesn't want someone who's ultimately shy. Like, he needs someone, like, a good balance. And I think, yeah, yeah. I, think Ashley's, I think Ashley is a good mix in between those two. Like, she is confident, mm -hmm. but then she's like, you know, I'm not going to just throw myself at you. So, yeah, I think that's the kind of girl that he wants. I agree. And I like her. <laughs> but they never pick the yeah. ones that you like, though. So he'll probably end up with Tierra. <laughs> <laughs> That's my thing. That'll always make a good story. Yeah. Oh. It's always good headlines. I know. Yeah, do you think that Sean is good in bed? Oh, God. Um, I just read that he's a virgin. Is that true? Oh. He's a born again virgin. So, like, he's not having sex anymore. Oh, so he's kind of like sex. me. <laughs> Okay. Or anyone Morning. that wakes up and just had sex saying they don't want to have sex tonight. <laughs> oh, so it's like a one-day thing. So like on Tuesdays, he's a born-again virgin. <laughs> I know. But you guys, it's just tabloids. We can't like you like, Us Weekly or, you know, Life and Style quoted, like, come on. But like, mm -hmm. maybe there's some version to the truth. But it's interesting to think, like, did he, if he is, did he have this, conversation with these girls like did he sit them down like in my opinion he'd only have this conversation with the top four girls that's all he really cares about like he's not going to bring yeah. this up to 20 girls yeah. every time that would be like you know pulling yeah teeth, i feel like mm -hmm. um all right so i think you know it's almost 11 10 we've been on here for over an hour so gia i thank you even though you've been tuned into the whole season but for two episodes you can easily get caught up so thank you for being on we thank know that you. a lot of people were wanting to hear from you and because you're a big person in this whole bachelor franchise yeah. everyone was really happy you came on thank you for watching extra on youtube and for 24 7 updates on celebrity news subscribe to our channel here like us on facebook here or follow us on twitter here and if you <laughs> want your voice heard leave a comment below where Right there. <laughs>